In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create a blog post using AI that ranks high on Google. So, in my last video, I asked if you guys wanted to learn how to create blog articles using AI, and most of you said yes. So today, we're covering the complete blueprint. First, I'll reveal the best profitable blog niches. Then I'll show you my secret sauce for finding keywords that are literally begging to be ranked for. And finally, I'll walk you through my exact process for creating blog posts with AI that ranks on Google. Before I show you all of this, let's address the big question on everyone's asking. Does Google hate AI content? But here's the truth. Google doesn't actually care if you use AI or write it yourself. They only care about one thing. Is your content high quality or not? For real, they're not going to rank your content unless it's amazing quality. What they're looking for is something they call EEAT. That's experience, expertise, authoritativeness, and trustworthiness. If you can nail these things in your content, Google will see it as high quality and rank it higher. What really makes content stand out is when you share unique insights that only you would know. That's something AI alone can't do. So the big question is, how can you incorporate EEAT into your blog articles? It all starts with picking the right niche. And here's the secret. Choose a niche you actually know and love. I'm talking about something you're genuinely passionate about or have real world experience in. This isn't about random topics. This is about your expertise. Let me break it down. When I say find a niche, I want you to think, what are you naturally good at? What have you spent years learning? What can you talk about for hours without getting bored? For me, it was baby care. I raised my sister's kids, so I knew everything about infant nutrition, development, and parenting challenges. That personal experience? That's gold for content creation. Maybe for you, it's something like swimming, cooking, travel, photography, fitness, or perhaps something entirely unique to you. When I say this, I bet something's already popping into your head, right? That's your niche. Grab a notebook and write it down. Now, how do you find low competition keywords in your niche? Before I show you this method, let me quickly introduce today's sponsor, Temu, the app that makes shopping fun and rewarding. Temu has an absolutely amazing deal right now. If you're new to Temu, you can get completely free items plus an exclusive $100 coupon bundle. It's super simple to claim. Click the first link in my description, which will take you to a special page with free items. If you see something you like or want to explore more, scan this QR code to download the Temu app on your phone. After installing, open the app, click the search bar and enter this exact code. You'll see all the $0 items Temu is offering for new users. These are their most popular products. Add what you want to your cart and complete a qualifying purchase to get your free stuff. But wait, it gets even better. Along with your free items, you'll also get an exclusive $100 coupon bundle. Just enter this additional code in the search tab. Click Claim $100 Coupon Bundle and spin Temu's lucky wheel for extra rewards. I hit the jackpot and scored a $300 coupon bundle. You can use these coupons on almost anything on Temu, giving you massive discounts on your favorite items. This incredible offer is for new Temu users with a qualifying purchase. So download the app, use the codes I shared, and grab your free items and coupons. Now, let me show you one of my favorite ways to do keyword research. I know those professional keyword tools can be super expensive, but I've got a completely free method for you. We'll be using Perplexity AI, a super smart AI powered search engine that helps you find keywords and even understand how different terms connect. It's honestly a game changer and super easy to use. To make it even easier, I've added some prompts in the description for you. Just copy the first prompt paste it into Perplexity AI's prompt box and just replace insert your niche with whatever your niche is. For example, I'm using baby as my niche. This prompt will help you to identify the most relevant and frequently searched keywords within your specific niche. Once you hit enter, the AI will show you a list of the most frequently searched keywords along with their estimated monthly search numbers. Find a keyword that you're familiar with and has a decent number of monthly searches. And it's better to choose a specific keyword for your niche because it allows you to target a focused audience and improve your chances of ranking higher in search results. For me, I'll choose Baby Stroller because I know a lot about it and it seems popular. Now let's see what people are actually searching for when it comes to baby strollers on Google. Copy the second prompt I've provided and paste it into the Perplexity AI prompt box. This prompt will help you find the monthly search volume competition level, and even some potential viral blog post titles for your chosen keyword. Simply insert your keyword, which in my case is baby stroller, and hit enter. 
Alright, so the AI has given us a list of the most searched keywords along with their estimated monthly search volume, difficulty level, and some potential blog post titles. Here's something important to understand. Ranking difficulty refers to competition. A lower number means less competition, making it easier to rank, while a higher number means more competition. For example, every single month, 3,200 people search for the keyword baby strollers under $100 on Google. The competition score is just 25 out of 100, which is very low. The AI also suggests a viral blog title, affordable baby strollers under $100. All right, now we've got a super targeted keyword and a title with serious viral potential. Let's dive in one last time to do some deep research. Here's what you do. Copy the third prompt I gave you and paste it into the prompt box. This third prompt is perfect for researching keywords and products around a specific topic. Just drop your keyword in there, hit generate. So the AI has already provided some useful details like frequently asked questions, the main keyword, secondary keywords, and a list of recommended products with their links and descriptions. This is the foundation of your blog post. The next thing you need to do is copy all the information and paste it into a Word document or a text editor. Keeping everything in one place will make it easier to work with later. This is the most important part, so listen carefully. You need to go through the product list the AI provided and check each one for accuracy. Look them up on Google to make sure the information matches the actual product details. It's your job to confirm that everything is correct and up to date. When we talked about this earlier, I mentioned that adding your expertise is key to ranking well. This step is where your knowledge and attention to detail make all the difference. Take a moment to double check everything before moving forward. Ask yourself, is this product accurate? Is it genuinely high quality? Will it truly help and bring value to the reader? Now look at the product description too. Does it clearly explain what the product is all about? Does it feel reliable and truthful? If any information is incorrect, whether it's about the product itself or how it's described, don't move on until you've fixed it. Your readers trust you for honest advice and helpful recommendations, so it's worth the extra effort to make sure everything's right. Once you've double-checked everything, it's time to head over to Claude.ai. This free AI tool is designed for natural text-based conversations and works exceptionally well for creating blog posts. I've already set up a detailed prompt template for you. Open the last prompt I shared and start filling it out with your details. For example, where it says insert your title. Type in your title, like I did with affordable baby strollers under $100. Next, fill in your target country. I recommend choosing the USA. Then scroll down to the bottom of the prompt and choose the type of blog post you're creating. For this example, I've chosen the title Affordable Baby Strollers Under $100. Since this topic involves showcasing multiple products, the best type of blog post is a list format. It's simple, clear, and perfect for readers who are comparing options. After that, add your target audience. For me, it's parents. Finally, decide on the word count for your blog post. I usually aim for about 2,000 words. At the end, you'll need to provide the customized information you've prepared. Simply write attached in each of those bullet section templates one by one. Once everything is filled out, select and copy the entire prompt. Then paste it into Claude's prompt box. After you've pasted the prompt, go back to the information you customized earlier. Take that content and add it into Claude's prompt to give the AI everything it needs to generate the blog. Once you've added the prompt and filled in all the details, hit Generate and watch as Claude creates a polished, high-quality blog post for you. Honestly, this is the kind of blog post I aim to make. It's well-written, super clean and easy to read. The introduction is perfectly crafted, packed with SEO-friendly keywords and written in a natural human tone. It covers frequently asked questions, includes a well-organized product list, a comparison table, and even a disclaimer. This is exactly the kind of content Google loves and readers enjoy. Now, your next step is simple. Copy the blog article, navigate to your WordPress dashboard, click on Add New Post, paste the article into the editor, and carefully review it. If you find anything that needs improvement or corrections, make those edits before publishing. Like I always say, quality is key. Next, as an affiliate, you'll need to add your product links. 
let's say you want to promote the product Summer Infant 3 Light Convenience Stroller. Simply search for that product on Google. In this case, it's available on Amazon. Once you find it, generate your affiliate link through Amazon, copy it, then go back to the blog, highlight the product name and hyperlink it with your affiliate link. That way, when someone clicks and makes a purchase, you earn a commission. You can repeat this process for the rest of the product list. Here's a pro tip. If the product isn't available on Amazon, don't worry. Simply search for best affiliate programs for your product niche, such as baby strollers in this case. So, you'll find a ton of affiliate program options. Open them up, check the commission rates and whether the website is trustworthy. If it looks legit, sign up and promote their products as an affiliate. And this part is critical. Always include a disclaimer in your blog. For example, this article contains affiliate links, meaning I may earn a commission if you click through and make a purchase at no extra cost to you. Adding this kind of disclaimer is essential for transparency and trust with your audience. The final step before publishing your article is to add some images. Adding different product images can make your post more visually appealing and engaging for your readers. Start by selecting a great featured image for your blog. You can find high quality free images on sites like pexels.com. Once you've downloaded an image, upload it as the header image for your blog post. When you preview the post, you'll see how much the picture enhances the overall look of your blog. It makes a big difference. And that's how you create a blog post that Google loves. Keep creating posts like this and you'll see tons of traffic coming your way in no time.